Listen, I don't know if you were around when I talked about this, but I told you all about the deleted version of the opening attack from Dinosaur. Well, guess what? There's another deleted scene, and this one's going to be even scarier than it was before. In the afternoon, I was at McDonald's to get a six-piece chicken nuggets. Double cheeseburger. Mm, French fries and a high C. Ah, fine cuisine. After eating at McDonald's, I went home from McDonald's. Suddenly, my mom came in and she said she found a never-before-seen DVD of Disney's Dinosaur. She didn't tell me where she found it, however. Regardless, I took a good look at the DVD. Irregardless, the DVD was all about one lost internship recreation of the opening attack sequence from Dinosaur. The cover consisted of evil Carnotaurus about to attack the Pacarinosaurus. It was labeled as Dinosaur, Lost Internship Recreation of the Attack Scene. The DVD was released on July 23, 2002. I'm not really sure why I'm telling you that. I was quite surprised for my mom finding a rare DVD, though I still don't know where she got it from. My mom went to go see her friend to visit, and, well, I'm home alone. Sometimes I like to watch DVDs, so that's exactly what I did. The DVD opened with the Walt Disney Home Entertainment black version of the logo, and then it showed the preview of Monsters Incorporated. Then it cut straight to the DVD menu. However, the characters from the film, including Aladar, Nira, Kron, and Carnotaurus, and the only one menu button, yeah, that was curious. Because the menu button said, play Evil Carnotaur Attack April 31st, 2001. The background music was The Egg Travels by James Newton. I was only anxious, but there was only one menu button on this DVD. I pressed play. And at the very beginning, there was a warning. Warning. This lost, deleted internship recreation is not suitable for younger viewers, as it contains graphic violence. After that horrible experience, we dropped it out, replaced it with a better one for children and the audience. You watch at your own risk. Eh, I face palmed in annoyance. Here comes the scary part, I said in pain. Then the clip finally began. I munched on a Big Mac. The baby Parasarlophus is chasing some Echthyarnus or running through the water or running through the legs of the Brachiosaurus. If you're running through the water, the baby Parasaurolophus watches the Echthyarnus fly away. And something flew by the Parasaurophilus. It was a flying lizard called a Longus Quama. The Parasophilus then came up close to the flying lizard and started to chase it into a forest of trees. Everything was normal and fine. But for the next scene, some things were different and just a little bit off. After the scene where the longest quama lands on the neck of some huge dinosaur hiding in the trees and fern, the scene changed to the Parasophilus looking up and some liquid started to drip on the large branch. The liquid came from the large creature, not clear, but it was slimy like saliva. It was more of a crimson red, like blood. The baby Parasophilus then sniffs the red liquid and looks up from where it came from. After that, the scene changed. Dear Lord, where do I even begin? The scene shows one of the villains from the movie, the Carnotaurus. The scene where he wakes up was way off. His eyes were very bright crimson red, and there was a scratch mark on its nose, and there was blood dripping down from its mouth. As soon as I woke up, I let out a low and loud growl. The music became more frightening and horror-like as that happened. Oh my god! I said like Wario from Super Mario in the Barrio. And the scene changed into the Parasophilus running out of the trees yelping for help. Aladar's mother and one of the Pachyrhinosaurs with the two Brachiosaurs heard the cries of the baby Parasaurolophilus. I show the Carnotaurus breaking through the trees chasing after the baby Parasaurolophus. The Carnotaurus then started roaring. Its roar was more low and sinister and demonic and more aggressive as if it was possessed by Ronald McDonald. 
The scene shows the baby pair of Salafis running off screen, and the car to Taurus continues running toward the nesting grounds. The horror like music again intensifies. The car to Taurus ran after the herd. The rest of the iguanodons of the Parasaurolophus ran away from the evil Carnotaurus, not even bothering accidentally tripping over Aladar's mother, who was still protecting her nest. The evil Carnotaurus continued to run straight toward the herd of running dinosaurs, then showed Aladar's mother still protecting her nest. Shen gets hit in the face by a meteor, no, by an iguanodon. Eldar's mother had no other choice but to abandon her nest and run away from the Carnotaurus, along with the Pachyrhinoceros that followed Eldar's mother. The Carnotaurus then ran over the nest and crushed all of the eggs except for one. This made me cry. The other Iguanodons and Parasophilus then went off screen and left the Pachyrhinoceros and chased down by the Carnotaurus. The Pachyrhinosaurus tried extremely hard to try and run faster than its legs could carry itself. Just then, the Conotaurus then prepared to kill the poor Pachyrhinosaurus. Except when it did, there was lots of blood dripping from its mouth. At that moment, the Carnotaurus then lunged at the Pachyrhinosaurus's neck and killed it. It showed a scene that was so messed up that it shouldn't be shown on any Disney animated movie. Not even Bambi. It showed the Carnotaurus eating the remains of the Pachyrhinosaurus. Flesh, lungs, intestines, stomach, liver, gallbladder... Etc. I felt extremely sick, so I paused there and ran to the bathroom and puked into the toilet. As I often do. And I went back to play the rest of the scene. After that disgusting moment, it showed the baby Paracelophilus from earlier watching the horrible scene. The baby Paracelophilus then started moaning at the sight of it. Then the Carnotaurus stopped eating and looked over at the baby Paraceraophilus and started growling. His mouth was full of blood and chunks and flesh and guts. The evil Carnotaurus then let out a loud roar like Godzilla. The roar was so loud I was surprised that I could hear it and not just dogs. I almost felt like that the Manitou horned dino was roaring directly into my face. The roar was also very powerful. It was so powerful that the whole scene started to shake because of the power of the evil Carnotaurus roar. My laptop started to shake as well. Well, it was prehistoric technology, so it made sense. As soon as I paused it, the laptop stopped shaking. I also noticed blood on my palms. Shit. I yelled in anger. And then I went to grab a tissue and started to clean my ears out. And after I did that, I went back to play the rest of the disturbing scene. After the Carnotaurus was done roaring loudly, the baby Parasolophus started to get really afraid and started to run for its life. The music then began to tense up and became more frightening. The Carnotaur tried to lunge and bite the little herbivore. It was too quick. The Carnotaur missed. The baby Parasolophus tried running over to the mountain of rocks, and the Carnotaur ran after it. The little herbivore ran into a dead end. It tried to climb up out of the dead end, but it was no use. The Carnotaurus then managed to find the little herbivore. The baby Parasaurophilus then started to freak out and cry out for help. Unfortunately, no other dinosaur came to help the poor little baby Parasaurophilus. The Carnotaurus bared its teeth, and blood was dripping from them. The baby Parasaurophilus began to get really afraid and started to shake really bad. The scene then changed the point of view of the baby Parasaurophilus. All of a sudden, the Carnotaurus then lunged forward and bit really hard on the poor baby's neck. Its jaws held the little herbivore's neck. The music became even more scary and horror-like as that happened. The baby Parasolophus started to cry for help again, but this time in agonizing pain. That started to feel very weak, and the baby dinosaur passed out and died. A dinosaur died. The Carnotaurus then let go of the neck, and the scary music stopped. But then at that moment, the Carnotaur that lunged at the dead baby dino and started to eat its flesh. Blood started to fly everywhere. So the blood even got all over the camera. <laughs> I started to gag at that scene. This time I didn't puke. I only gagged. That was a step up. After the evil Carnotaur was done eating, it lifted its head up and started to roar in astonishment. Where was allowed this time? My ears didn't bleed. After that, it showed the aftermath of what happened to the herd. 
imagine escape the nesting grounds to find a better place to live. There was dust all around. The most disgusting part of that scene was the corpse of the pack of rhinoceros after the evil Carnotaur attacked it. And the camera panned down to the one remaining egg that wasn't stomped on by the evil Carnotaur's feet. And it showed a scene from the final film where an alva raptor takes the egg and runs off into the forest of trees. And the scene faded to black. And then the deleted scene ended. It cut back to the DVD menu. I was really shocked after all that. What a shitload of fuck, I exclaimed. I can't believe I saw the most disturbing version of one of the scenes of Dinosaur ever. After I recorded the footage, I ejected the DVD and uploaded it to Instagram on my tablet. The video is called For Rohan Only, in honor of my friend Rohan, who knows a lot about these things. I didn't want anyone else to have their childhoods ruined. After I sent the video to Rohan, he messaged me back by saying, Mother of God, that's horrible. I just hope that Adam Kennington gets put back in jail after this. This is horrifying. George Jetson, and let's not hope that there won't be any more disturbing scenes for Woody's Nightmare from Toy Story 2 and the opening scene from Monsters, Inc. I messaged him back by saying, yeah, I hope so too, bud. I hope so too. Then after I texted Rohan back, I put the disc back into the case, smashed the DVD, buried it into the backyard. But later that night, I had a nightmare about the evil Carnotaurus from the scene coming in the night. I got chased by the evil Carnotaurus and started to maul me to death. I woke up from a nightmare. I put the relaxing sleep music on my TV, and then I went back to bed and slept. If you find an email that was sent by Disney about a deleted scene from one of their movies, don't watch it. And one more thing, just stay away from Adam Kennington's stupid horror creations. That stupid punk deserves to pay the ultimate price.